All right, we'll head into Abuja as we keep our focus on uh, those response delegations making the rounds about developments within the NMPC. Mark well. Well, thank you, Chimbeling. I have with me in the studio Honorable Victor Wokolo, who is the Chairman House Committee on Petroleum Resources Upstream. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Are you scandalized by the news that, you know, news of reports of events happening in the NNPC and the letter that uh, came out, that leaked? Uh, we don't know from where now, but the letter written to the President that was leaked. Well, <clears throat> like every other Nigerian, and particularly for somebody in the industry and in the National Assembly, I'm worried and um, I'd rather say it's unfortunate to mm. what was seen. What precisely is, is worrisome for you? Uh, worrisome that um, the, two, uh, the two people who are supposed to be at the top are really not working very closely because you need a good relationship to bring efficiency. You need some personal interactions because if you, are, if you have a good relationship, it means that you can work at any time of the day, be it night, be it day, you can call, oh, where are you? You come when there's a good relationship. With what has been displayed, it shows that um, the relationship needs to be beefed up. Mm. Yes. Is, is it by the structure? I mean, would you say it's by the structure of the, you know, the NNPC versus the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, the fact that the President is the Minister of Petroleum and there's a Minister of State, do you think that that has anything to do with the conflict that we're currently seeing? Well, um, thank you very much. I would, I would not hold it down because the President is the Minister. Because I think it's, what is happening today it's a clear indication that the NNPC Act is defective, which again, uh, okay, the House or National Assembly, what I mean the House and the Senate, who are working closely to look into the NNPC Act. Mm. For example, if you look at Section 2, Section 6.2 of the NNPC Act, it clearly says that expenditures of five million and above will be referred or should, will be presented by the corporation to Mr. President. He didn't even talk about the minister. So in the past, we've had presidents who are not ministers of petroleum. Uh, under Goodluck, under Yaradwa, Yaradwa was not minister for petroleum. Um, President Goodluck also was not minister for petroleum. They had different uh, presidents of petroleum. But by NPC Act, they are not even supposed, NMPC is not even supposed to go to uh, the ministers from the art, he said, shall refer or presented by the corporation to uh, Mr. President for approval. So the issue that Mr. President is the minister now is, does not even arise. Hmm. So it means that all, what, all I'm saying now that it, the NNPC Act itself needs to go for amendments. Yes, def definitely brings us to the response of um, the NNPC to Mr. Kachiko's letter. They yes. say that there was some misrepresentation in that letter. Uh, they talked about how much they didn't quite give their own figures, but they say that the figures that Mr. Kachiko presented were not correct. And they also talked about how his input as chairman of the board, or even the board's input was not needed, uh, since the president is both minister and also uh, also has powers to be chairman of the NNPC board? Well, like I just mentioned to you, that NNPC at section 6.2 6 clearly states that if, where there is a project of 5 million and above that the corporation will present to Mr. President for approval, the corporation shall present to Mr. President for approval. If the onus is now on the Mr. President if such things are presented to him, to refer it back to his minister to look into. Mm -hmm. But ordinarily, let's be, let's be sincere. And the, 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 no, and I'm talking about the act this time, that if there's a, a good relationship, as the chairman of the board and as, as minister of state, although I don't have the working manner to know the reporting channel, but I think that the GMD reports um, by the act I'm talking now, Everything about expenditure goes to Mr. President. So why it is processed to Mr. President, it should be determined by their manner. Mm. 
Mm. I'm because. looking at the summary that, they, that you know, <laughs> quite a number of papers are reaching this morning. You see NNPC's response, Kachiko's board effectively redundant. It means that there was really no role uh, for the board of the NNPC. Is that what you see? Well, like you said, I've just read it. We've requested for um, Barrow's response. Yesterday was Monday. I have not received it. I have not read the details. I've just seen the headlines uh, last night where they said... Um, uh, it's, well, what you are saying is clearly, even to, while I was watching the telly, while you were waiting room, you say Katkus boss render redundant. I wouldn't say I'll speak on that, but I am talking about the NNPC Act as amended in 207, the one that's in operation now, says that anything, any expenditure or project up to the amount, up to the 5 million naira or above would be represented, would be presented by the corporation to Mr. President for approval. That's why I'm saying that from all indications, National Assembly have to go back to the drawing board and scrutinize and look into the NMPC Act and come up with the amendments that, uh, that's of international standard that will suit for the proper and effective running of the place so as to check what has happened today. Mm. That's the SS, what we're talking about the amendment. I don't say? have a copy of the NMPC Act here, right here with me, but that's the provision. Mm. Beyond that, we have also... Um, we want, to look here, we want to look into Section 7, uh, 5 of the same Act, which says that the NMPC pro sends their budget to Mr. President for approval. Again, these are all the things, what is happening today is throwing up for us to look into, which I'm sure will, the leadership of the House, under the able leadership of uh, His Excellency, uh, Right Honorable Yakubu Dogara, will address in no distant time. Mm. So, you know, some people will say that if that is the case, I mean, if that is what is in the Act, why should there be any rancor in the first instance? Well, I, you know, this matter is before is the Senate for investigation. And when matters are up for investigation, as a lead chairman of the uh, petroleum committees in the House, there's a limit I can speak about what is going on because it's under investigation. It's, the investigation is yet to start. We have just been told that mm. they, they intend to start an investigation. Yes. I mean, the investigation... They have called, called for... The investigation solutions. is yet to start, and we do not know that mm. the, when a, an investigation is before, uh, you know, a committee of the House mm. or the Senate, that it is in court. Is it the same thing as being in court? I don't want to see my... I don't want my opinion to be regarded as uh, a privileged information. I asked you a very yes, simple, yes, straightforward yes. question. I mean, if a matter is before a uh, committee of the House, does it mean that, you know, people cannot talk about it? I, I think that people, people, no, no, no. That people, rule only no, applies. No, people, yes. people could talk about it, but ordinarily as a lead chairman, as somebody who is involved in the whole thing or who opinion will also be sought because I will have an opinion about it mm -hmm. because it is true that the thing is before the Senate. You won't, of course, won't fold our hands because what is involved is people's money. What's involved is Nigeria's future. What's involved is Nigeria's destiny. Because, of course, NNC, NNPC as of today provides over 90% of our uh, uh, foreign, uh, uh, foreign exchange earning mm -hmm. and about 95% of our total revenue. Is your committee going to be doing anything with the Senate? Because so far, I mean, you're not a member of the Senate. You're in the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. yes. and you're talking to us as a member, chairman yes. of the... Uh, committee on Petroleum Resources Upstream. Yes. Um, you have privileged information. Are, are you going to be a part of that committee with the Senate? Uh, you know, of course, we work together. We work very closely. We work uh, very closely, and particularly on this matter. Like I said, you don't expect that the House will fold their hands. It's not possible. So what precisely mm -hmm. does the House... For example... What does the we, House intend to do? We have written to them for, uh, to submit their papers and for further explanations, which by the time Barus eventually submits his own, of course, we must summon them. There's no way we need clarifications on, this, uh, on these issues. Not only the Petroleum Committee even is going to involve the Public Procurement uh, uh, Committee of the House too, mm. because the issues of procurement is also involved.